I got to agree with that because political correctness it becomes ludicrous when it uh, defies logic. Yeah, and it does often, doesn't it? Yes. Appreciate the call, Jeff. Thanks very much. Let's hear what Alice has got to say this morning. Hi, Alice. Hi. I'm calling about the uh, telephone charges for inmates. Yeah. In all of the jails. Not now, just the, Burnside, the inma- but the all inmates, of them. Yeah, the inmates they have are to... are prohibitive, and if your parents or your wife or whoever doesn't have a credit card, then you cannot make that collect call home to keep in touch with your support group. And the calls all, like Phoenix, go through Texas. They go through Texas. Don't we have a Bell Alliance here? Or are we uh, Bell America? Because it seems to me that every single major service provider got to go through Texas. And I don't, uh, if you don't have a credit card, then you're screwed. You're not going to get a hold of your parents, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, you know, you ha- you can't pay money because they take the money and they control the money, and it's not right. I mean, you might just as well be in a hole. Uh, they don't feed you right. They don't have enough guards to help you out. Yeah, there's, but, no but, proper, there's no proper mental health But, but Alice, Alice, is John just uh, emailed to say inmates have another choice. Don't commit crimes. Uh, excuse me, all you have to do is look at the wrong god darn thing on your computer and you're in jail. Excuse me, I said when Chrétien said there's going to be a computer in every household, that they just opened Pandora's box and they haven't got the brains to realize it. Well, people are uh, accessing pornography at libraries and everything else. You can rape a kid and you can be out on conditions, but if you look at something on uh, on a uh, computer, you're going to jail because you're going to make more. You're going to get more time for that one thing than what you are. You know, for doing it in a library. In a library, I guess it's okay because that guy got off with it. You know, it's the law isn't even across the board. And yes, you can accidentally get into stuff, and there's no point in fighting it. And that there's a lot of people in jail that are there that should be getting help. But when you get told by uh, the health department that you're sent to, to go fuck yourself and hey, get out right, of all here. All right, thanks very much. Uh, uh, next call here, and let's just uh, do that and see if this works here. And uh, again, please, when 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 you when you're going to call this radio show, and I, you know, I just watch the language. Watch the language. I mean, there are other people listening here, who, you know, who don't appreciate hearing that kind of language on the radio program. I think we dumped that in time, and uh, let's hope that we did. But uh, again, just. Be mindful of uh, of the language, please, when you give us a call. Robert, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Very, very well, thank you. Good. Do you want to offer a We're very quick on the bleep button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my finger is poised there, Robert. Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about the jail, though? What are your thoughts yes, about it? I praise Al Jones. She was all... It's 11.51... Uh, just back to the language question for a moment here. And again, urge people, when you call up the show, you know, sometimes you get worked up and, you know, you really want to make a point and get angry at times. And, well, Alice dropped an F-bomb on us here this morning, and uh, and that's what we were talking about. Hopefully we managed to uh, prevent it from getting on the air. But here's the thing, you know, if if, if people continue to, to use F-bombs, uh, for example, and and somebody who may take offense to that, they will complain, and then my bosses get word of complaints, and then pretty soon, you know, they're on me. What are you doing? How come you're allowing people to swear? It get to the point, perhaps, where, you know, we might not be able to do these kinds of open hours here. If you can't control your language, don't bother to call. It's that simple, because I don't want to ruin this opportunity, this, this only opportunity that we have uh, on a daily basis to talk about some of the issues that are of uh, concern to you. So if you call, and I encourage you to call about anything. But if you do call, just to, uh, again, refrain from 
the use of, uh, you know, F-bombs and such. Uh, thanks to Daryl, who uh, sent us uh, an email in regards to the Duke of Cumberland.